Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. This video I'm going to show you how to make a sprite fade in and out for the sprite catching game. So right now we've got it so that it appears and waits, but I'm going to change this function so that it is fade in and out. So I just right clicked and then edited it and now it changed that block to also say fade in and out. Now in my code, I don't want it to wait quite yet. I want to add in a control block and this control block is going to fade in 20 times and then fade out 20 times. Now to make it fade in and out, we're actually going to use the change ghost effect. So the first time I use this, I want to change the ghost effect by minus five. And then the second time I use this, I want to change the ghost effect by five. So check this out. So minus five, five. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do um, before you actually like run in this code to make sure it actually works um, is you just add in the set ghost effect to 100. And so now when you run this code, when it gets to the fade in and out, it's gonna start, fade it out, and then it'll fade in and then fade out. And then we can simply move this block that we were using before right in between these two repeats. And that'll make us so it of waits a little bit before it fades out again. Okay, now if you want to, you can even randomize this. So you could be like, I want this to pick um, between 20 times and maybe 40 times, and it's going to go by negative one and negative five, which you can't really see. Let me scroll down. So now the fade in and fade out will look a uh, difference. So sometimes it'll fade in faster uh, or slower than other times. Cool, so see how it's moving in and out? Okay, so when you add in your code, just simply make sure that you have your set ghost effect to 100 before you start subtracting from it, waiting, and then adding to your ghost effect. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.